So I'm just going to be one hand length, one hand length, as I mentioned earlier. And I'm going to actually make the shoulders a little bit more inward just because it looks a little bit wide here. So I'm going to make it a little bit tinier just because I just want to give her a smaller stature. I'm going to draw her chest area. So I'm drawing the, the beginning of the pecs very, very lightly. And then I'm drawing in her chest area here. And I'm also, once again, if I still want to keep the design that I had in my thumbnail sketch, I can do that as well. Now, if you're a beginner and you don't want to make so many corrections, I would just say go based go based on your initial sketch because that will help you um, just be organized. Now, if you are more experienced, for example, you can kind of go ahead and you know still change things up a little bit in your refinement drawing, but just realize that if you are satisfied with the product that you already have, don't change it. Uh, if you're not satisfied, you can still kind of change it here and there, but in the end, you can always go back. Um, so. I actually still really like this original design. I know I changed a little bit back in the uh, rough sketch, but I think I'm going to revert back to this. And then since I have this here with me, it's easier for me to look at. So anyways, I have my you know, chest area here that's kind of more pushed out because, you know, she's kind of bending outward a little bit. And I'm just drawing very lightly so that once I line this, it's not going to be a hindrance. Here we have the neck which is sort of like a little thin cylinder. So far, so good. So I'm going to move down a little bit just so I can continue. And here we have the chest area. Here is our rib cage where it ends. And then here we have the pelvis. Halfway point is the pelvis, where the pelvis starts. So if you just want to draw that in very, very lightly. I know it's quite light, so it's hard to see, so sorry about that. Hopefully you guys can still see a little bit of this, though. Here's the waist. And once again, this is just last minute. Um, not really last minute, but just final corrections on the anatomy because you ultimately want this to look pretty sound, right? You you ultimately want this to look professional or at least good enough that, you know, the anatomy is correct. So I, once I kind of, once I pretty much confirmed that this is what I like in terms of proportion, I can go ahead and just continue. So I'm, once again, I'm going to look at my reference. So... I'm going to go ahead and check this pose, see how this is structured. Looks like the leg is very much forward and kind of close together. Here's the knee in front. And here's the calf bending back. So this is just a very, very clean, rough sketch at this point. Just more of a cleaner, even a cleaner, more refined look. Um, so when you are refining it, just be careful that you still want to, you know, still draw in the box, you know, still draw in uh, areas of, you know, just draw in the cylinders and all that stuff. Because if you uh, start refining too much, and it will start looking flat because you're only drawing what uh, is just like a, you're only drawing super neatly. You, you still want to show the form of the legs and everything else. So just make sure that when you are refining things, make sure to still make, make it look lively and not super stiff. So I'm still, you know, relying on, you know, my construction method. I'm still relying on my box methods and I'm still relying on um, form, uh, form changes in the body. So it's easier. And it will make sure that my drawing won't look super stiff and, you know, static. So here is the foot. Here's the boot. It's very, very lightly drawn. If you want to draw the foot first and then draw the shoe on top, that's good as well. So I'm going to give her some nice platform boots that's going in back in perspective. So it will kind of converge a little bit to the back. There. 
So once I have the anatomy pretty much done, I can once again just go ahead and uh, look back on where I look at the other reference. You know, her arm's kind of more leaning in, so I'm going to have this lean in more. Elbow. Remember, it's near the end of the ribcage, so because it's straight down, then it's easier to look at. It's, it's easier to find where the elbow is. And I feel like her hand would be better suited more frontal legs like this way rather than the other way, how I had it before. I'm just going to just draw a little nub here just because I don't want to make it too messy. So far so good. Now I can go ahead and draw in the other hand, which I can go ahead and use this as a reference, like a very, just very, very basic reference here. This is just to find where the placement of the hand's going to be. Let's give, her, let's give the glove some ruffle, some sleeve, and then we can go ahead and drop the arm down. Because I draw this lightly, it's going to be easier to erase when I start lining this again. So now I'm going to draw in her outfit. I can always just wing her hair later. Uh, I can also add in my proportion lines just so just to make sure that I don't lose it. So my eye line's down here, my eyebrow line is up here. This is a center line. And here's the math line. So once I have these markings, then it'll be easier to, once again, redraw. Here is her ears. I'm just basically setting up everything so that it is good to go for line work. I know it's not the, really the line work process yet, but this is just final, final drawing here. Now let's draw the outfit. So I'm going to look at my previous outfit that I had before, which I liked. Here. So I'm just going to be roughing it in, really. I'm just going to be roughing it in. So I'm, I have the choker down here. I have the ribbon down here. I have the top. And then I have her shirt over here. And once again, I'm making sure that all my cloth material is wrapping around the forms like a cylinder. And because, you know, her chest is facing a little bit more up, I'm going to rotate this upward. And this is going to curve down to the corset area. And here we have the belt, and because she's kind of going more down in space, I'm going to rotate this in a kind of like a little smiley face direction. That's the only way I can really describe it. Just a more downward cylinder. I, for I keep forgetting to add her tail and her wings, um, so I will go ahead and do that before I forget it again. Um... So here we have our puppy sleeves. That's where it's placed. That's her arm. Let's give her some wings here. So I would say, you know, draw in areas that is more complicated just so that you guys don't get confused later on. So I'm gonna look at some pleated skirts down here and because I have a pleated skirt uh, looking reference down here, I can go ahead and use that as reference. So of course, if you wanna use the same, if, you wanna, if you're drawing the same image as I am, uh, you can go ahead and use that as a reference as well. So let's see, I think this is a good example here of how it wraps around the form. So once again, I'm just making sure that's quite accurate. So I think I'm going to use this part, this, this reference here. 
I'm going to draw in my pleats. And I'm going to start straight down here because, you know, she's still kind of like sitting straight up. But as it curls down, I'm going to draw more wrinkles. Especially in areas where it's like bending like inward here around the crotch area. Of course, we want to spread it like so. Make sure it just wraps around the form like a cylinder. Uh, let's see, what else do, am I missing here? I think this is good for now. So now I'm going to be drawing in the background here. Oh, I forgot to draw her tail too. So her tail can just kind of curl back into space. I'm wondering if I think I should just kind of curl it around her body as I already did earlier. So of course, that's a little bit difficult to see, but you'll see once I line this. Um, let's see, where else, what else do we need to do? Oh yeah, we need to do the background. The background will be quite simple. Uh, what we can do is we can take a ruler. Now, I don't have that long of a ruler with me on hand right now, so I'm going to just do this incrementally. So as you can see, I have my canvas kind of like pretty big here, and I might minimize it just a little bit just to, because she got a little bit smaller now uh, because I had to correct her proportions. So I'm just, just draw lightly on where the on where the canvas is going to be. And just make sure that when you're when you are uh, when you're doing this, that you're pressing pretty hard on your ruler so that you know your ruler doesn't move around or kind of or, or your pencil doesn't go under. So far this is what it looks like. Unfortunately I can't always scroll down whenever I want. Make sure that when you are drawing in your canvas that, you know, your body, the body that you are showing isn't going to be touching the ends because that looks very, very wrong. And that's just more of like a tension kind of thing. So um, if you looked at my other courses, I talk about tension in composition. Uh, that's when, you know, something uneasy is happening in your drawing because, you know, there's two things that shouldn't be touching together, especially around the ends. So notice how if I move my canvas or my, if I move my image down to the part where it ends at the frame, that looks really strange. It looks like there's no closure. So I have to lift it up a little bit just so it's a lot more, um, it's easier to look at. So that's just one thing to think about. Doing the top now. I'm doing the sides now. So now my canvas is done. I will tape this later so I don't go out of the border. So this looks so far pretty. This so far looks pretty good. The character's in frame. And then what I can do is just start drawing in the background, you know, such as the curtains behind her. Maybe the end of the curtains flowing down. Make sure that the wings and this doesn't touch because that looks really odd. Once again, it's another tension thing. So it's more like a tangent. As you can see here, this looks really uneasy because, you know, you either want to move this in front and then have this at the back or vice versa. So just try to avoid that if possible. Let's give her... Uh, let's give her some background, you know, like little little decorations on the background. So I feel like 
it would be good to kind of add some little uh, bats, you know, kind of like hanging bats or something. Even though it's not Halloween yet. <laughs> And let's add some cats here. And I'm just kind of spacing them out at random. I'm not making them super organized. I'm also going to add some little stars here. Little, some small, some big, medium, small shapes. There's another little cat. And this is just more like to just show some little bit of diversity in the background so it's not just plain. Hmm. Let's see what else I can add. This is not a lining video anymore. This is more of like a, 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 a final, final sketch. But as you can see, I'm kind of smudging all over the place now because I'm moving my hand so much. If you have a glove, use that. Um, if not, uh, just draw very, very lightly so it doesn't smudge and ruin your paper. Let's add some throw pillows. Towards the back. Let's add a cat pillow at the back, because why not? Let's just indicate it. It doesn't have to be full in full view, but since it is now in full view, <laughs> let's just add that in. So I have the whiskers, and then let's see. I feel like the floor. I feel like maybe a crinkled thing wouldn't do as well. I think it should be more like. I just don't know. Let me think. Oh yeah, let's draw in her ball of yarn because she's a cat. Kind of roughly in. Maybe let's draw some cat toys. How about that? Let's do a little mouse here. And then let's draw a piece of cloth. You know, maybe like she's laying on a little blanket that, you know, some. This is what some cats do. They just lay on some blankets that they just they just find comfortable. So let's just do that. Let's just give her like a little blanket that she's resting on. How about that? Alright, so that's pretty much it for the final sketch, the final, final sketch before we actually go into line work. And I will go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, one more thing. Uh, if you have the time, go ahead and tape all these corners here of the of where the canvas is in your illustration, just so that it's easier to block off, you know, any stray lines or anything like that. Anyways, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.